So before we get started, um, welcome to our talent show tonight. It is um, very informal, so feel free while we're going, go ahead and grab something to eat or drink, keep yourselves entertained. Um, if what's going on up here is not what you like to see, go ahead and grab something to eat. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Dave Haslow. I'm a member of Lakeview Lutheran Church. I've been a member here since 2003. Maybe I've seen me and my wife in very loud shoots in church on occasion. Um, a little bit about me, quick, before we're, we're waiting for the first crew to get going here. A little bit about me. I grew up in a little town called Loyal, Wisconsin. Anybody here know what or where Loyal, Wisconsin is? Wow! Sorry. I apologize. Um, so actually, Loyal got its name from the Civil War. People, um, every able-bodied male around the time of the 1860s or whatever the Civil War was, left and went to fight war. That's where the name Loyal came from. And it still has a huge tradition, a great deal of people that serve in the armed forces. We've lost a lot of people in war as well, too. And, my, and that carries on in through businesses and churches throughout the town. I mean, there's only 12 people in the town, but in our church, we had, as I think a lot of churches do, this memorial kind of thing. And it's in the area that's between like where the Sunday school rooms are and the churches. So as an eight or nine year old kid, I'm sitting there looking at that one day on Sunday morning. I'm looking at these names on the wall. I don't get it. You know, I'm eight or nine years old. So I go, looking at those, staring at the names, I don't get it. What are, what are these names here for? Pastor comes up, hey, little fellow, what are you doing? I'm okay, but it's this, what are these names up here for? The pastor says, well, Dave, those are um, those are names of uh, members of Trinity Lutheran Church here who died in service. I stared at him and said, Saturday night or Sunday morning? <laughs> <laughs> Wisconsin, the weather here, we know what it's like. It's awesome. Um, remember last summer? Wasn't that great? I had a picnic that day. <laughs> winter time rolled around. What happens in the winter? It's so cold, I saw an attorney with his hands in his own pockets. Oh. <laughs> That's all we got. So, actually, as some of you know, I, I'm a police officer, therefore, my disdain for attorneys is, is, is mostly uh, defense attorneys. Oh, I got loud. Thanks, John. Pastor Chris said you weren't loud enough, and he should know. That doesn't happen very often. <laughs> so, defense attorneys can be kind of rough to cops. I mean, yeah, I get up on a stand sometimes, and I expect easy answers to state your name and spell it. Okay, I can handle that. Now you want me to explain other stuff that's much more complicated. I probably can't do that so well, but I'm going to try. So I want to stand this one particular instance. Officer, tell me what you saw. Blah, 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 blah. I'm smarter than you, so I can talk like this. So I said, well, this is what I saw. You know, I'm here. I'm on the side of the street. On the side of the street, I see this guy. I see the other guy. This is what happens. I'm not going to bore you with the details, but the defense attorney says, you saw what? And I repeated it. From there, yes, that's the answer, but I'll answer your question some more. Well, how far was that? Well, 30 feet. That's pretty far, isn't it? Well, it's 30 feet. <laughs> how far can you see? So I paused and I said, I don't know, I can see the moon. How far is that? <laughs> <laughs> not a great answer, not one that makes people happy, but I, I answered it for them. <laughs> so that's why if you hear something like, okay. What do you call an attorney who's buried up to his neck? Anybody? A good start. I have a couple more, but we won't use those in church today. Um, and back to my hometown of Loyal, my parents still live up there. And they're getting up there, they're advanced in their years, and maybe not doing as great health-wise as, as they were, you know, 20, 30 years ago, like having many people. Um, my mom called me and told me about my dad's last trip to the hospital, or to the clinic, just for routine checkup, and the nurse says, well, Mr. Hassler, we're going to need a stool sample, a semen sample, and a urine sample. My dad, who doesn't wear a hearing aid, can't hear, says, what? So the nurse says, we need a stool sample, a urine sample, and a semen sample. What? And then my mom's sitting next to reading the paper. Look at him, finally stops in the conversation, says, Gordy, we have a pair of your underwear here today. <laughs> So, I 
I was up all night last night trying to come up with a way to segue from one dynamic, terrific show, one great, beautiful presentation to the next. And I'm left with my grand, my father's underpants to the choir. I don't know how I'm going to do it. But before we get going, the purpose tonight is to raise some money for the youth. They have a mission trip. Throw as much money as you possibly can afford to throw at these kids. Um, what they do is an experience I'll probably never forget. And it's great for, for, for Lakeview Lutheran. And it's good for the kids. It's good for us. So get up till it hurts. And then get a little bit more. Um, like I said, eat and drink as you feel free, as you see fit. And uh, also, the 27th of April, which is next Tuesday, the Culver's right down the road on Northport. 10% of their proceeds between, I believe, 4 p.m., 4, 4 and 9, 8, 4 and 8, 8 p.m., 10% of their proceeds will go to um, the youth group for their mission trip. So, eat here, eat there, spend lots of money. Uh, like I said, get it till it hurts. With that, again, we're segueing into the choir as you're going to take us back to 1970 with Spinning Wheels.